If you clicked on this video, then you're probably new, right? So as the player base reaches some numbers, that's very impressive. So applause to them. I might as well help some of you guys out on how to get to max level fairly quickly, which is level 100 by the way. But keep in mind that the grinding is absolutely horrendous and excruciating if you don't love repeating quests over and over and over and over again. Bruh. But we'll give some met other methods here and there that can help leveling feel like an actual game instead of a job. And this is as nicely as I can interpret the grinding gameplay. So yeah, if you don't like that type of game, this might not be for you. But always give every game a chance, right? Because you never know if it's going to be an absolute banger. Anyways, let's start with the first quest that some of you might encounter, which is the rusty, dusty, rusty smug looking motherfucker right here. And with this, he has the audacity to give you a quest to clean the damn floors like a peasant, which I presume most of you don't want to be, right? But honestly, it's pretty useful because it could give you around 75 yen, which can be used to work your way up to a weapon, either a katana or a knife, which is 150 yen each at this store right here. And with your newly gained weapon, you could go ahead ahead and start the harder quest or should I say the only other repeatable quest that's available in the game besides the dailies and that is the fiend's quest all right located near the um uh fuck it just just follow where I'm going and the fiend's quest will give you a challenge where you have to kill three fiends three fiends which are found around the map now be careful with the ones you encounter because they can be pretty dangerous let me go ahead and list them off for you so first of all we have the mantis shrimp fiend the hardest one which is which gives around 100 to 200 yen he has normal punches and heavy punches which is dodgeable and parryable. We have the beetle fiend which gives 100 to 200 yen. He does a little grab and bite attack which is dodgeable but unparryable and this guy does a ton of damage as well so be careful. The third fiend is the ant fiend. Gives 100 to 200 yen each. He does a little quick lunge attack which is dodgeable and parryable. We have the cricket fiend second to last which gives 100 to 200 yen. There's a little drop kick this time and it's dodgeable to parryable so it's similar to the cricket but once similar to the ant my bad but once the cricket does his drop kick he will go ragdoll so you could just go ahead and m1 combo it there and finally yes this is actually in the game and i'm not joking we have the imposter among us fiend this guy gives a staggering 200 to 400 yen each kill and has a long tongue attack which is dodgeable but is unparryable so you find this red little f around the map go ahead and kill him it gives a lot of money now with the fiend quest covered let's talk about the daily quests so this little little cutie right here hey, can yo. give you a multitude of quests that can vary like killing 13 beetle fiends or three imposter fiends and much more so it could double the rewards you get from a normal quest now i don't really really recommend this often because it's not repeatable since it's a daily quest and it's a little bit more tedious than the normal one plus the normal one once you're done with the quest it gives you the option to repeat it which is way more convenient than the daily so stick to that fiend quest other than the daily now moving on from there let me go ahead and make your experience a little bit more exciting which is through the boss system so basically how this will work there's a time on the left hand side of your screen and once this timer is done one of the three bosses that i will go ahead and list off will spawn randomly across the map and you go and kill it with some other players or by yourself if you want to so let's go from easiest to hardest so the first one we have the tomato devil he's the easiest one to kill his first move is that he jumps up into the air and slams down which can be parried but can be dodged and his second move is this five hit combo which fairly quickly and it can be parried and it can be dodged. second up we got the sea cucumber devil and it's pretty hard but still easily killable so the first First move is that it shoots 10 spikes at you. It can be parried and dodged. The second move is a three large heavy spike attack, which it shoots like, like it says, three heavy spikes. This can be parried and dodged just like the first one. And then finally, this one's unparryable and undodgeable, so you're just gonna have to maneuver through it. But it rains down spikes from the sky, which does a decent amount of damage and keeps you ragdolled for quite a bit. So be careful. And then finally, the last boss that spawns around the map is the Bat Devil. And this guy has a ton of moves, and he is the hardest one out of the three. So so he has a normal move. He, he just has a, a normal kick, which you could cancel it by uh, M1ing or dodging it. The second move is a little smash down with the right arm. This can be parried and dodged. The third move is a little dash forward with the right arm. This could also be parried and dodged. The fourth move, on the other hand, is a little punch with the left arm and it's a lunge at you. So it's a little scary, but you're gonna have to use future sight for this one because this one cannot be parried or dodged. The fifth move is that he jumps into the sky, hitting you on the way up and ragdolling you.
you can be parried on dodge. The sixth move is to jump into the sky with a beam facing below you. So just honestly, don't stick below him. Just move backwards and then you won't get hit. And then finally, the seventh move is that it charges up a beam that you cannot parry or dodge. So you're gonna have to use future sight as well. And it does a ton of damage. At least it has a little circle that shows you that it's charging up. So you could at least be prepared. And now knowing that, the more damage you do to a boss, the higher rewards you do gain. So either solo it or get one to two more players to help you out. And then finally, the other method that I recommend getting levels and money through is the zombie raid. And that could be found at the construction site with this red little pad. And thankfully, you can bring others to help you fight these zombies and the zombie devil boss with you. But keep in mind that it does scale on how many players are in the raid. So the, the difficulty will get harder. But if you are successful into defeating this raid, you will get a thousand plus yen and tons of EXP. So in total, the best method that one could follow is finding a low server, getting enough money for that weapon that you want, grinding the fiend quest, getting a contract, either the blood spear or any other contract that could help you on grinding because the blood spear has a tons of range that can help you kill with bosses. And speaking about bosses, kill the bosses when it's possible and then grind raids if you want to. And that's basically it. So yeah, good luck grinding.